This is a 2000 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, it's a 5.3 liter for, uh, v, uh, Vortec. Uh, we're changing the water pump, which looks like this. Okay. Uh, took the fan off. And when I used to take the fan off, I used a, this a pliers, it's a regular pliers to get around the head of the, uh, the head of this. Uh, this right here. You're going to need some uh, lubrication, some PB blaster or something to spray it down while I was on the car and just to knock it off. And you're going to knock it, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So that's why I use, I just got it, clamped it on there and hit it with a hammer. Or if you got the, I don't know the, the exact size, but yeah. Came off of here right here. Next thing I'm going to do, I am going to uh, loosen this belt with the tensioner, which is right here. Uh, and uh, get this belt off. But you want to keep this belt on while you're taking it, that fan off, okay? Y'all, I am using a 15, a 15 millimeter socket right here on the tensioner. Okay? One second. And guess what? I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it clockwise. You gonna turn this clockwise? See? Turn clockwise. You loosen the belt. Um, you trying? I'm recording with my phone, so y'all see me struggling. That's why. So, boom. Got that back off. Just remember how y'all had y'all. Just remember how the belt diagram was before you take it off. I just took a, a picture of it because uh, that's what I do. And I have uh, I have good memory when it comes to cars, so so voila, that came out. Set that over there. Might need to replace, replace that because it got a lot of cracks in it. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take out. You can't play with that too. You can't play with that too. We're gonna take out the tensioner right here. Okay. As you can still see, I'm gonna try to turn my line for y'all. As you can still see, it's leaking. See how it's dripping behind the behind the water pump, underneath the water pump? And that's the problem right there. Alright. Give me a second. I'm going to get the uh, tools for this this water pump. Alright, the tensioner pulley. I'll get to them. Alright, y'all. So take off this tensioner pulley right here. It's a size 15. So it's a 15 for the, uh, the tensioner here. And a 15 for this. Okay? Uh... Like I said, LS 5.3 Vortec uh, Tahoe. So I'm gonna crack these loose and then we go continue the, the video. But it's these, these two bolts right here. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. All right, y'all, I took, I took these two bolts out of the, uh, the tensioner. Just a side note, the top, the long one goes on the top short on the bottom on the tension right there all right that's important let me rebuttal y'all so on the uh on the tension pulley it's actually three fifteens so the long one will go here on this one the long one will go here and then the short one sorry y'all the short one is gonna go here so short screw long screw long screw that's why you have the long and then short because of the, the, the space in between the engine and the uh, water pump. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, y'all, we're going to take this off. First, we're going to loosen this, bring this back, loosen these two, bring those back, and we're going to pull it from the pump. Then we're going to take the, this, the thermostat, go take that out and take that out. Okay. All right, y'all, so take the thermostat out right here. It's a 10, 10 millimeter socket. 10, it's a two, one. Sorry, let me get y'all in here. So we got one, two, okay. All right, y'all, so we, uh, I just slid that off. It's gonna be hard, so we have to use the pliers or something to, uh, to pry it off, okay? Uh, so this clamp, bring it back, clamp, bring it back, and try to get it off of these with a flathead or something like kind of get get it unstunk. But I use my my pliers, which fell 
Where my pliers go? Anyway, I use my pliers right here uh, to kind of grip it off. It's like open like that. You need a new thermostat. So a new thermostat and water pump getting changed. All right. So next thing we need to do. You got something to say? You got something to say? Camera shot. But anyway, uh, now I'm just going to take out the bolts. It's three on this side and it's three on this side. So the three on this side is right here. So you have one, two, three. Uh, one, oops, sorry, y'all. One, two, three. Then you have one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so there's only six bolts in this uh, water pump. Okay, and then I think Tor Specs is like uh, 10 pounds or nine pounds. I heard a lot of people have been getting their stuff broken in two, so uh, we'll see. Okay, so let me take this off and we see what we're working with. All right, y'all. So so y'all can see, I got the water pump out. So you're gonna pull out a 10 millimeter right here, right here, and right here. Again, on this side right here, right here, and right here. So these three, these three. This is the thermostat right here. The thermostat, uh, not the thermostat, but the uh, the tension pulley. Remember, remember the, the tension pulley was mounted right here so then you got those three bolts and then these three bolts right here and then you got this shroud to take off and then these two uh these two tins right here okay so that's i mean shoot that's it the job on job ain't nothing but what i'll say about an hour of your time and saying here go the new one right here same thing three three tensioner and then those two right here they come with gaskets then you want to clean up this all this around here real good. I'm gonna clean all this. See how it's chiseling off? It probably was a good pump, but it was just leaking through the gaskets. You see what I'm saying? It probably is still a good pump, but the gaskets is bad. But might as well just change the whole thing. So you want to get back under your hood. Camera shot. But anyway, uh now I'm just gonna take out the bolts. It's three on this side, and it's three on this side. So the three on this side is right here. So you have one, two, three. That one, oops, sorry, y'all. One, two, three. Then you have one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So there's only six bolts in this uh, water pump. Okay. And then I think Tor Specs is like uh, ten pounds or nine pounds. I heard a lot of people have been getting their stuff broken in two. So uh, we'll see. Okay. So let me take this off and we see what we're working with. All right, y'all. So, so y'all can see, got the water pump out. So, you're gonna pull out a 10 millimeter right here, right here, and right here. Again, on this side, right here, right here, and right here. So these three, these three. This is the thermostat right here. The thermostat, uh, not the thermostat, but the uh, the tension pulley. Remember the the tension pulley was mounted right here. So then you got those three bolts and then these three bolts right here. And then you got this shroud to take off. And then these two uh these two tins right here. Okay. So that's I mean shoot. That's it. The job on job ain't nothing but what I'll say about an hour of your time and saying here go the new one. Right here. Same thing. Three, three, tensioner, and then those two right here. They come with gaskets. Right here. Yeah. You're getting a whole new thermostat too. Then you want to clean up this all this around here real good. I'm gonna clean all this. See how it's chiseling off? It probably was a good pump, but it was just leaking through the gaskets. You see what I'm saying? It probably is still a good pump, but the gaskets is bad. But might as well just change the whole thing. So you want to get back under your hood. Y'all, so what I did was I the way I took out the uh the bolts on the water pump, I kept it in the same pattern. That way, when I take it off, it'll be the same pattern. So, this is top on both sides, left side, bottom, bottom. Then I got the other one over there. So, then I'm going to flip this down. I'm going to flip this down, the new one. And then I'm going to put this, the screw up here to put the gaskets on. Just like this, y'all. Yeah. 
and then I'm gonna put the other one on and then put the screw through here. That way it holds and then I'm gonna place it up right here, okay? So hopefully this helps someone. I just kind of roughly did it because I'm losing daylight and uh, you don't have to subscribe to my channel. I'm just here to just, just here to help. All right, hope this helps someone. Bye. Another good tip, y'all. The gases that's on the back of these, where the screws is, you might want to put some silicone right there so it can stick to the back of it. That way you ain't struggling to put these back in when you put it on the car. So, just another little tip. That's the new one, and that's the old one over there. I'm pretty sure it still worked with the the gases was the problem on this uh, pump. So, here we go. Just putting it back in.